Black Film Festival, which we were selected to be in. When I found out, I didn't know how big the film festival was, because we had been to film festivals. So when I got the text, Khalil was very excited. So we, I'm so excited. I read his text that the ABFF in Miami picked out film. This is big. So I didn't even know what the ABFF was. So I said, cool. So I went and I started asking people. I asked you. When, and they were like, this is big, this is big. So when I realized how big it was, and then people were telling me, just getting selected for that was fantastic. I started feeling like, whoa, really? You know, I mean, literally hundreds of people, I mean, people in the business who have films, who've been on in movies, they get rejected. And they picked us, and, 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 and out of we were, they told us out of 280 films, we were in the top five. That's what the ABF said to us, and I was like, really? So, um, and and, and um, it was so much fun there, man. It's like, you know, the energy, the energy. You know, people were happy. Black people coming to see films. You know, it, it's good to see black people having fun, our own thing, man. And, and many of the people, they weren't in the film. They just came to see the festival. And I, we were out there smoking, oh, was hustling. And my four seventies, we lived t-shirt on. I was just walking to people. I would see people, I would spot potential people. I had a big bag of flyers. I go, excuse me, my brother, you here for the film festival? And they go, yeah, I go, listen. I gave them a flyer. I said, listen, you gotta check out our, our, our documentary, four seventies, we live. We live. Uh, I don't want to oversell it to you, but I'm telling you, it's great. It, it, it worth your time. And then people are like, I'm here to see it. And, I had so many people that I gave that flyer to that, uh, you know, people the next day were just waving at me, hey, you know, like they knew, we're going to go see it, or people saying we saw it, and people saying how great it was, and, you know, we, we got we got a lot of love for it, I, I got to say, you know, uh, I humbly, I'm humbly saying this, it's not easy for me to be humble, sometimes it's not easy for me to be humble, I have to work on it, but I, I'm, I humbly, yeah, yeah, we all do, I humbly say that people love that documentary. The way you know, I sat in the movie theater, I love to sit in the movie theater and just watch the movie. You know, they don't know. And I watch them laugh when they're supposed to laugh. Cry when they're supposed to cry. Go, ooh. You know, and they were just, they was people were so enthusiastic. They told everybody about it. And we were, I'm not gonna say we were the buzz, but we were a big buzz at the ABFF. And you know, you get to meet people, you know. In the business, who you know, you get to rub shoulders and learn things. But I want to say about Bill Duke, the great Bill Duke. I love that dude, man, because he is so big and he took time. He took time, like he was just, after the award show. He sat down, we took pictures, and he was sharing so much with my man Khalil. And Khalil's a sponge for information and knowledge. And Bill Duke was sharing, you know, he was sharing some stuff about the industry and, and about his his experiences, you know, and. He, I, I like him a lot because you know, he appealed to my ego. Uh, he was like, I had saw Bill do the second day I was there across the street from him. Uh, I had came out of the Rich Carlton Hotel. And Bill Duke was coming out of the store, so I said, you know, I never knew him. I said, I said, Mr. Bill Duke, Bill Duke. I said, hey, I, I said, he said, hey, what's up? I gave him a flash. I said, Mr. Duke, you gotta come check out our documentary. So he said, okay, I'm gonna check it out. So then, two days later, we saw Bill Duke again, and this time Khalil went over to talk to him. And Bill Duke said, so yeah, he gave me one, he gave me one already, so they talked. So then I saw Bill Duke like maybe two nights, the night before we left, after the award show. And this is after he done talked to thousands of people, they all up in his face, asking questions. And he saw me, and Bill Duke said, hey, hey, hey man, you didn't come to my, see my movie. I said, huh? He said, yeah, I was waiting for you. I said, huh? He said, yeah, I was waiting for you. I, I was waiting for you too, you didn't come. So I said, hey, I ain't gonna lie, Mr. Duke. I ain't come, I was hustling hard for my movie. I figured Bill Duke don't need me there. He said, yeah, yeah. So we took pictures and I laughed about it. But I just felt good that he even remembered, you know, that that, that I told him that I was gonna come to this movie and that I didn't come. So I mean, you know, it, it was so much fun. It was fun. A lot of beautiful women, some fine sisters there. I mean, I don't wanna act like they wasn't there, you know. <laughs> and it was fun. It was fun. And, and, and uh, Miami, uh, South Beach is, is a hot city to visit, man. I, I gotta say, it was, it was a lot of energy there. So, the American Black Film Festival was really big for me. And uh, I think it's doing a lot to help propel our film, Force and Deeds Relive. Uh, it's gonna propel it to where we want it to be. So, that's my ABF experience. I 
got there the first day. I got there before Khalil. I flew in. My flight got in. I got to the hotel because I was sharing a room with, with some other group. Nobody was there, so I hung out in the lobby. But then the director, Ron, got there. I went up to Ron Elliott's room and changed my clothes. And Khalil texted me, man, get them flyers out there, shy, and start hustling. Because our movie was planned the, the next day at 10 o'clock in the morning. And we didn't like that because this is like really the first full day of the um, film festival. And we know some people ain't there yet. Some people, they flew in last night, they tired. People were partying, drinking. And we knew people wasn't going to be up early to see our documentary. We knew that because they, they played throughout the day, 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock. And we, we was hoping to get one like 1 o'clock, the first showing. So we, I got out there that first night. I went straight to the Ritz Carlton Hotel because that's where the base was at. You know, I went there, I, you know, I put on my Force of D shirt. And I went down to the Ritz Carlton and I went inside. I was going to the celebrities. Yo, how you y'all here for the film festival? Like, yeah, so yo, y'all gotta check out our documentary. It's like, oh, four of these, that's great, we'll see it. You know, everybody said they're gonna see it, but a lot of people, they don't have time to see it. So I figured even if they don't come see it, they know about our they know our documentary exists now. So I'm putting them into all these celebrities' hands and running to Robert Townsend and and, 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 and the Kai Pfeiffer and other people. And I'm kicking, yo, you gotta check it out. Blah, blah, blah. That was my first day. So Khalil arrived, we talked, we walked, we went around the film festival area, we went to some party at night. I got like three hours sleep, we tired the next day, but we went back out there and we, we hustled some more. We went to see our, 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 our film play. And it was great to see my film play at the, uh, the first showing. It wasn't as many people as we wanted in the first showing. We knew it, we wanted to have a packed house, but we didn't get a packed house. We got a few people came in. But the whole, I sat and I watched the people in the movie. And they were really totally enraptured by our movie. And to see people react like that to your movie, they don't know you in there. They know. And to watch them, I said, well, I knew we got it. And so we did the question and answer. And they asked really good questions. And people was telling us, yo, we, uh, it's the greatest movie. It's the greatest documentary I ever saw. That's what people were saying. I, 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 I'm going to tell people about it. And so we hustled to more for a couple days, went to a couple parties, and our next showing, we had a full house. It's like every seat was filled, and, and people loved it. Uh, it was just you know we got good, 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 um, good reviews, um, great reviews. You know I got to rub shoulders with some celebrities you know, so, and took some pictures, of course. Uh, I mean I, I'm not gonna act like I don't. I enjoyed taking pictures and meeting celebrities, but I didn't go there for that. That's why I feel, I feel good about my intentions. Like meeting the celebrities and rubbing shoulders is part of my process. It's like manifestation that I'm doing what I plan to do. But if I just meet them and I don't come out with a good movie, meeting them really didn't mean that much to me. So it's the whole plan. It's just evidence that we're doing it right because you know, because because Big Ballers was giving us love. And, they, and they're basically watching us, too, to see what we do. Because the bottom line, people, as much as they'll tell you how great your product is, they're not going to do it for you. So if you have a product and you think you're going to bring it to them and they see how good it is and they're going to take it and run with it, you, you, you're mistaken. You got to do it. And at some point, a distributor will come along once you do the work. And see that you've done the work and made this great thing, and you know then they'll work with you. You know, I mean, and there's other ways too if you can get money, but that's a whole another story. Getting money to make a movie, which 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 I, I can't even go into because I'm still working out how to get money for my next movie after this one too. So once I get that all done, I'll tell you how I did that. You know, I'm in the process of it now, but once I got it done, I'll tell you how I did that.